after months long political tensions and ongoing gang war, uh, Haiti's transitional or transitional prime minister has unveiled his new cabinet and vowed to address the prevailing crisis or political crisis in the country. Now, the Caribbean nation has been grappling with escalating gang violence, especially in the country's capital, Port-au-Prince, forcing many Haitians to flee their homes, with over 362,000 people internally displaced since the beginning of 2024. The new administration is said to have a very big task at hand, as some of the country politicians say they will closely monitor how they will be governed. Now, let's have more details of that in this report. Haiti's Prime Minister Gary Kony talked about his new government on Wednesday and about his motivation to restore order to his country. We have to demonstrate courage and determination because it's amidst a crisis that the true character of a nation reveals. The Transitional Council has officially installed 14 ministers in all, overseeing 18 ministries. Longtime local politicians say they will be watching what comes next. We say that we're going to hold the government accountable to its actions. The Transitional Council's appointment of a fresh cabinet marks a significant shift from the previous administration amidst a severe humanitarian crisis fueled by armed gangs. Prime Minister Kony will also serve as interior minister, while all former ministers who serve under Prime Minister Ariel Henry have been replaced, with many new faces from outside the political sphere. The Transitional Council, which has been in place since mid-March, has been under increasing pressure to deliver on its commitments amid a lot of infighting and delays. Now, Kuni is feeling that pressure too. He has to say something clear. Today, look at people dying in Salino. Look at people dying elsewhere. Kuni's added role of interior minister gives him control over Haiti's security forces and intelligence gathering. This as Haiti awaits the arrival of a UN-backed security force led by Kenya to help restore order. The new cabinet also includes four women in an attempt to reach a constitutional benchmark for women's inclusion. I would like for him to be granted a chance to do all that depends on himself. The new government faces critical tasks in the coming months. The biggest, establishing the security that will allow for general elections to be held and a new president to be sworn in by February 2024.